Hi, I'm Margaret. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use keyboard uh, input in a C Sharp console application. I'm going to run the program briefly and then I'm going over the code. So here is the console application. It says move the yellow rectangle to the left with the key A, to the right with the key D, or if you press the key X, that means exit. So I'm pressing the A a couple of times, that moves it to the left. Now I'm pressing D, this way I can go to the right. I could press a K or a N, nothing's happening, maybe an equal sign. I can press A and D either way, and then X is going to exit. And there was a little popping sound. I'm not sure whether the recording picked that up, but I'm going to speak to that in a moment as well. So at this point, I'm going to close my console and you can see here the program. I started by saving my background color because a console is not always black. So if I have a blue console or different color console, I want to make sure I'm painting over it with the color of the console that I'm working with right now. Then I'm going to provide the instructions for the user and I'm setting up my yellow rectangle just by drawing a space in a given background color. And this is probably the part that is most interesting right here. This is the part where we use the keyboard input. So I'm reading a key, it just says read key. This true means we're reading the key, but we are not printing the key. The true, if I roll over it right here, when I roll over it, it shows you that the parameter is a intercept parameter. So true means we're intercepting. We are reading the key the user press, but we are not printing it. Uh, this allows me to compare whatever we read here. And I can say, well, maybe this was the console key A or D or X. There are different options as well. So if you go here to console key, you can see that is an enum that has a whole variety of different options. And I'm just using those regular keys, A, D, and X right here. As long as my key is not X, we just read the next key. If it was a K or a N, we just ignore it, we do nothing. Now, once the user pressed X, that is time to clear my console. I want to make sure I set back my background color first, otherwise my whole console might turn yellow. And then I'm providing a message for the user like end of demo. And here is a simple sound effect. There's this little popping sound, it was this beep. By the way, if you're on a PC, there are more options of sound effects, a little bit more restricted than a Mac, but even a Mac can do this little popping sound. And then you have at the end the press and a key to continue. Notice when I was pressing A or D, I would just say move left or move right. How would I do that? I would just move my cursor on the uh, corresponding position and either paint over it with the background color or paint over it with the yellow color, depending on where I am at a given time. This is it. I hope this was helpful. 